Hello and welcome. I'm Riversoft Art, and I'm here today to talk about how to convert footwear using my clothing converter for Genesis 3 Mail to Genesis 8 Mail, or the clothing converter for uh, from Genesis 3 Female to Genesis 8 Female. So I have Daz Studio up, and I've loaded a family-friendly Genesis 8 Female, and let's start the clothing converter and uh, what I have in here are some um, footwear to convert now normally what you can do is just convert your footwear along with all the other items uh, as you add the directory and what you would do is just turn off use foot fo pose if available and turn off this new option, Use Foot Dialog. And you would convert, inspect your shoes after they've converted and see that if they're, they're good. And then this is you know, how you can adjust these. So let's select all of them and let's just execute. Now this is based upon the update to the clothing converters that was submitted to DAS on September 12th 2018. Uh, so depending upon when you're watching this, you may have this already or you may have to wait a few days. Now the new clothing converters improve things like poke through on the uh, underarms and uh, the padding on the shoulder issues people have reported and some other bugs. Um, and then I've added these uh, features to really we can convert all high-heeled shoes at this point, uh, or at least I hope so. Um, and it seems to be a little bit faster as well. So we converted seven items. Now let's uh, check out the log. So it was converting the nine to five shoes. It recognized that they were footwear, it copied icons and categories. That one's good. Um, the Corvus boots from Archi are, or Archi, I'm not sure, um, are being recognized as follower wardrobe full body. This could be an issue. Um, sometimes it will work if these are not uh, high heels. Um, it shouldn't matter, but uh, in this case it is going to matter. Uh, Australian was recognized as footwear. The punk boots were the wish granter, and then uh, one of the things the two I uh, converted at the bottom you'll notice were not recognized as footwear, they were unknown. These are because there was no smart content, uh, no metadata in the DAS uh, content management system. Usually, this is when you have items in your library that are not. Um, that are not from the DAS 3D site. So if we look at the uh, Rebel Boots, it actually, when it loaded it, it did recognize it was footwear, so that's good. Um, and uh, for the Dark Mist, it did it as well. All right. Um, so one of the things I wanted to mention, so you will have cases like Corvus or uh, especially from other websites where it's not recognized as footwear, you can now check items, select them, and I'm using the control key while I left click here, and click force convert footwear. And this will force the script to use uh, its smarts and when it's converting it as footwear. Uh, so this is very helpful for those type of things. So first of all, uh, let's check out how we did. So, first one is 9 to 5. And that looks like it full, uh, loaded properly. It obviously needs its foot pose, but that's fine. Um, let's check out the Corvus. This was the one that wasn't recognized as footwear. And it has an issue here this is going to be a problem as we you know post the character it just isn't going to fix it all right um, so Corvus is a problem 
Let's see what else we have. Ostrani. Also one with a problem. Uh, the Gothic Punk from Sixus. That one looks like it's loaded up properly. Um, Wish Granter. This is good. And then uh, these, the ones that don't have metadata, like that come from other websites, aren't going to have metadata uh, when they're converted. So for the uh, Rhiannon ones, we need to go to our people. Oh, that's right. It's the converted ones. So people, Genesis 8 clothing, scroll down. All right, um, Rhiannon. And I believe it's the Apox Rebel. This is a uh, not high heel, so it should load properly, and it did. And then we want uh, Dark Mist was the other one. This one is uh, high heels, but it loaded, it converted properly. So the ones we had problems with were Corvus and um, Ostrani. So let's rerun the converter, select Corvus and Ostrani, and this time I'm going to turn on use, use foot pose. So this will automatically look for the foot pose for that boot or shoes um, in the same product. So um, an, Ost an Ostrani foot pose. If it's something... Um, from the other websites, it, they probably it won't find it, so this won't do anything. But let's let's see. Let's just select one of these. Uh, let's see. This is the one with the heel, so that might have it. So if we execute again, we've selected use foot pose if available. Now I'm deliberately ignoring that I saw the uh, log before. So you can notice that the, the foot post looks like it's fixing the uh, Ostrani one. All right. So if you look in the log, of course, uh, Corvus was not recognized. So it didn't use a foot pose. For Ostrani, it found a foot pose and it applied it. And uh, that helped. Um, for Dark Mist, it probably did not find it. And it didn't. Be, and this is because it really doesn't understand it as a product, I believe. Um, and we know in this case it didn't matter, but I just wanted to show that. So if we exit out, uh, Corvus should be just messed up, so there's no point looking at it again. But Ostrani looked like it had been corrected, and it has. There's you know a little poke through there, but I believe that as you um, pose. Um, let's find the Ostrani foot pose. Yep. So there's a little bit of poke through there that might be able to be fixed with uh, our next option. So we will try that. Uh, we could also, you know, add a smoothing modifier and try that. That's also another option. So let's uh, undo the pose. All right. So something new in the uh, latest update is this use foot dialog. So this adds a unfortunate manual step, but I've made it as quick as possible for those problem high heeled shoes. Uh, you want to turn off foot pose because it, that is has priority. If it finds it, it uses that. And then it would, if it didn't find it, it would use the uh, foot pose dialog. But if we turn it off, it will automatically go to this one. So we want to fix Corvus and try out Ostrani. So um, Corvus is not being recognized as a footwear, as we notice. So we're going to have to do a force convert on this one. So let's try force convert. Now, what's come when you have that use put uh, foot dialog, it brings up this little foot poser uh, script that you could use yourself. Um, 
And it's designed to give you a quick and dirty foot posing. By moving this one slider, it moves the feet and the toes. And the idea is you want to try and make the foot disappear into your uh, into the footwear. Looks like we're still going to have a problem in the back, but we'll try this. And if you don't want to use it, let's say it's coming up for um, a uh, flat shoe and you have it like this or something, you can always cancel. That doesn't cancel execution. That just means the um, this dialog doesn't pose the foot. But we want to use it, so let's accept this. All right, so that's Corvus. All right, and um, I'm just going to select an, a couple just to show you the how this works. So now, uh, if you had a bunch of different clothing items, it will uh, let's let's select that one. Only on clothing items will you see this dialog, and it just comes up in the middle of the conversion. So it should be rel relatively quick. So let's execute it. Uh, so here, we don't want to do anything. We cancel. It doesn't apply it. The uh, Ostrani, we do want to do it. So let's just move the slider, get it inside, accept that. The Gothic punk, uh, punk, it's in here. And this is why this one worked, because it loads in like this already. So if we actually did a foot pose, it would be a bad idea. So let's cast uh, cancel out of that. And then for the boots, I, oh, because it recognized that when it loaded it, it can load it in. And again, we want to cancel. Now, if these were other things, shirts and everything else, you will never see this dialog. But the real idea is to convert your entire library using the check use foot pose or not. Um, sometimes using the foot pose helps, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, so it's up to you whether you want to use that. And then to go through for the problem footwear and use this foot pose dialog. So at this point, we've converted everything. So if we go back and... We used the uh, foot pose dialog for Corvus. Uh, do I have it selected? Oops, I don't have it turned on. And you see how it fixed it. Um, let's see if it improved Ostrani. Now we still get that poke through a little bit. So that's something we'd have to fix with like using the um, smoothing modifier or something like that. Um, that's about it. The only thing I do want to mention is this foot pose, it, foot poser is available. Um, you can just use it for items that don't come with a foot pose and you like, oh, I want to uh, pose this right now. It only moves this one but when you hit accept, it changes both. Um, and you bring it up. You know, uh, I didn't show it here, but you can uh, change that view angle so that you can quickly um, pose this thing. And these three things, it will remember every time you run it. Um, the Ben foot pose, it forgets deliberately, so it's always at zero. All right, uh, that's it. I'm really excited for everyone to get the update, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and have a great day.